Well, one of my favourite ways of spending a summer evening is out barbel fishing on my local rivers. And at this time of year that normally means hemp and pellet fishing, normally with a feeder or PVA bag. And while I'm happy to use pellets straight from the packet for feed, I'll often make up a batch of hook baits specifically to go on the hair, which have a few advantages over a normal hard pellet. So I'm going to go inside now and make a batch up for this week. So why don't you join me and we'll have a look at how I make them and why they're so effective. So the first thing we need to do to make um, my specialist hook baits is grind up some of these 6mm halibut pellets. Now you could buy um, pellets that have already been ground up into powder. You can get that in most tackle shops. But I normally do my own and I just use one of these cheap coffee grinders to do it. Useful piece of kit to have really because you can use them to make up crushed hemp and stuff like that. As well as grinding up pellets for pastes and hook baits. So rather than watch me grind up a pint of pellets for the next 10 minutes, we'll just come back when I'm done. Well there we go. 10 minutes work and we've got a pint of nice um, pellet powder. So the next step is we can get rid of the grinder now, we don't need that. Next step is to crack a large egg into a bowl. There we go. And then I'm just going to beat that up a little bit. Now of course you can add any kind of additives to this that you want. But um, generally, you know, what I'm trying to do is just make a pellet that's easier to use on the hook. So I want it to be pretty much the same as uh, the pellets I'm feeding. But you can use whatever you want, but you know, don't feel like you have to. It doesn't, uh, it's certainly not that important to do it. And most of the time I'll just use it straight as it comes. And now what I'm going to try and achieve now is just um, fairly stiff, I suppose, paste. And the idea with the egg is that just acts as a binder, helps the whole lot bind together. And that's the albumin in the egg white binds everything together. I normally use a fork just to start with to get it going. It helps keep the hands a little bit cleaner. And when it gets to a consistency where it's starting to hold together, it's then best to get in your hand and uh, just start moulding it together. And it might take a couple of minutes to get there to the right consistency. But just keep kneading it together. And if you've Got a nice fine powder on your pellets, you'll get a nice paste. Often you'll need to just add a little sprinkling more just to get that consistency spot on. There we go, we're not far off now. It doesn't take very long. And then you're best to leave this um, paste to stand for a couple of minutes just so all the egg gets really absorbed into the pellet powder. Just give it a couple of minutes. There we go, we're about there now. And we've got a nice, quite firm paste. And of course, you can use this just as a paste as well if you want, no reason why not. And what I'll often do is make up a batch and uh, leave its paste, just freeze it in sort of a, a one egg lump like that, which is about ideal for a day session really just to use as a wrap on the hook bait. Job done. So we'll leave that stand for a minute or two and then we'll roll it into hook baits. So there we go, we've got a nice stiff paste now and you could use rolling tables and bait guns, all kinds of uh, devices you can get and make um, rolling baits and boilies that much easier. But to be honest we're only doing a few hook baits so you don't really need any on a specialist equipment other than your hands really that's all you need and all I'm going to do is just roll a lump of this paste out into a sausage effectively dead easy but you can go down to whatever diameter you choose really if you get the mix on the paste right it should mix fairly well and you can just then there we go, get it down to the right diameter. So I'm going to go for about 10 mil. 10 mil is a pretty good hook bait size. And then I'm just going to 
cut it into pellet sized pieces. Simple as that. A nice slightly squashes them, but I don't worry about that. And there we go, we've got already a handful of hook baits. So there we go, for about 10 minutes work, we've got enough hook baits probably to last me a month. And uh, all we need, need to do now is boil them up for a couple of minutes just to put a hard skin on the outside and make them a bit more resilient. So I'll get the stove out and let's do that next. Okay, now we've got the water boiling. All we need to do is just cook those baits. Now, if I was uh, cooking a big batch of baits for feed, then I'd probably only boil them for about uh, a minute or so, maybe 90 seconds. But because these are hook baits and I want them a little bit tougher, I'll boil them for a little bit longer than that, maybe a couple of minutes. And the reason that is, it, it, uh, what makes the baits hard is the uh, albumin in the white of the egg. So what I want to do is set that, just like boiling an egg really. And uh, the longer you do it for, the tougher the baits will get. You don't want to do it for too long though, because the baits will expand and um, if you're not careful, they can get a bit, uh, start to break down a little bit. But about two minutes should be perfect for these and that'll give us a nice tough hook bait. And just a word of warning, obviously these baits, being fish meal, are uh, very smelly. So this isn't a job to do in the kitchen. Best done outdoors really, on a little stove or a camping stove. And I keep this one specifically for, for this kind of job really, boiling up particles and making my own hook baits and boilies. And uh, it certainly saves me from a lot of grief. And there you go, you can see what actually happens is the baits will start to float after a while. And that's a good indication that they're about cooked. I'll give them a few more seconds just to let them toughen up a bit more. And there we go, I'll drain them off and then just tip them out onto a sheet of uh, kitchen towel. And I've got one more batch to do, they can go in now and there we go, we'll give them a, a cook for a couple of minutes and then we're all done. So there you go, about 10 minutes of work and we've got a brilliant batch of hook baits there. Perfect for barbel, but also really useful for carp and bream as well. And although they resemble a normal halibut pellet, the beauty of them is, is that they can be hair rigged really easily and the needle goes through no problem. But again, they've got that tough consistency, so they will last on the hair for several hours. So I hope that was interesting and that next time you go barbel fishing, maybe you'll give these a go. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget we've got loads more bait videos on the channel, so check some of those out as well. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.